Hey YouTube, this is Comic Hero 77 back with another comic book um, video. This is um, comic book video number 13. Um, really happy to uh, be showing this video. Um, this video, um, all the comics in here were either purchased off of eBay or um, the comic book convention or local comic shops. So we're going to jump right into this with um, the Invincible Iron Man or Iron Man, um, plainly titled. Um, or number 64. Um, not a first appearance or anything, but this is a John Romita Sr. cover um, and um, just a really nice uh, uh, book. It's uh, about an 8.0. I got this off of eBay uh, under about, I think, under $10. Um, I was really happy to get that. Um, you know, I try to get as much as John Romita Sr. work as I absolutely can. Um, so yeah, I'm super happy to get this. And you know, under ten bucks, I think I might have got this for eight dollars. You know, eight point oh, you know, solid, solid grade, solid copy. You know, looks beautiful, presents well. You know, I love this stuff. Another Iron Man. This is Jack Kirby. Here, um, this is number ninety four. Now, you know, I'm not particularly into um, Iron Man that much, but you know, I do appreciate you know, the, the role he's played in the Marvel Universe and stuff like that. Uh, but usually when I get an Iron Man book, it's either there's a lot of significance or the artist on it uh, that, that did it, you know, I really enjoy. You know, so I enjoy Jack Kirby. So he's got some great stuff here. Really nice. Really happy to get this. I got this at, um, you know, when they introduced, when they, when you found, when um, they, they told the world that, you know, Black Panther was going to be in a movie. You know, these are one of the books that shot up. But uh, I got this at a comic book convention. I got it for $40. Um, and this book, in this grade, which is, is, there's like really nothing wrong with this book. You know, this there's like, you know, small, like, it doesn't even color break, but the corner right there, um, but this is easily nine two. It easily. Um, I don't think it's a nine four, but you know, someone on a great day might might give it that. But this is um, the first solo stories of um, Black Panther. This is Jungle Action number five. This is like uh, you know where Black Panther has his solo stories, his first ones by himself. Um, the cover is a John Romita Sr. cover. Um, the interior is a reprint of, I believe, I think his first appearance. Um, but yeah, um, it's an original John Romita cover, um, but the interior is a reprint. But this is gorgeous, and for this grade, and you know, 40 bucks, I think I got a good deal. On eBay, I don't see these things go less than that in this grade. Uh, I've seen it go for more in this grade. So I think I got a you know, decent price for this, this book. Solid. Um, also at a comic convention in New York. Um, this is number six. Now, this is the first original story. This is a, uh, the cover is done by um, Rich Buckler, who I just found out is ill. And there's um, you know, they're doing a uh, there's a company I forgot the name of it. Um, they're doing a, like a, a fundraiser because um, his insurance is not that great and won't cover everything. I I don't know how. You know what his illness is, but um, Rich Buckler has drawn every major Marvel character and every major DC character. I mean, he's just done both sides of the spectrum there. He's also the creator of um, Deathlock the Demolisher. Um, but he did this cover. He's also known for a lot of covers he's done, as well as interiors. Um, but yeah, um, you know, so the fundraiser, you know. They're trying to raise money for him to, to afford his 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 hospital bill, so which I think is great, and I hope he does well. Um, I'm glad he did this book. He's a real amazing talent. This is a um, Jungle Action number six. I would say this is a you know I got this for like I think three or three dollars. I got this three. He gave it to me for three dollars, and at the time this book was you know, really zoomed up. You know, they introduced that he was going to be in the movie, you know, Captain America um, Civil War. 
and I was really surprised to get this for three dollars. And this is about a seven L. Um, you know, I think it looks great. Great color, great eye appeal. Shows really well. I'm really happy to have it, and I'm a big Black Panther fan. This is a Jungle Action number 21. This is another John Romita Singer cover. Love this. You know, the whole KKK thing going on. The clan. They call it the clan. But, you know, guys in white hoods, we all know what that is. So <laughs> I got this off of eBay. Um, about 8.5. Um, under 10 bucks. I'm really happy to get it. And when I mean under 10 bucks, I mean, I might even got it for like, you know, five or six or something like that. I don't know exactly, but this is really, really nice. Uh, I got this because I'm a big fan of the whole Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And that principle, you know, was applied to the Hulk, you know, later on. You know, Stanley thought about the Hulk and he always thought about the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. But Marvel released these Marvel classic comics. And one of the stories was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And, you know, the cover was done by um, Gil Kane and Dan Atkins, who were just, you know, studs in the Marvel yeah, well, Gil Kane drew everything. I mean, he's responsible for creating uh, Hal Jordan, um, Green Lantern. I mean, it's amazing. Um, so this is really beautiful. I got this off eBay as well. I believe around ten dollars or less. I think under 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 ten dollars. Um, so in some of my comic haul videos, you might have seen this. I have five copies of this. Um, one better than the other. Um, the fifth one you won't see here. It's in the closet, and I because I just recently filmed it in a in, a, in the hall, but this is um, Journey to Mysteries number one. Um, I'm sorry, Journey into Mysteries, King Size Annual number one, the first appearance of Hercules. So here's one, there's two, whoop, there's number three, got this at a comic convention. This is the very first one I bought. Um, so this one is about a Fine Plus, and I think I got this for, I think I got this for 80 bucks, but the others, um, I just purchased one for 50 bucks, which is much better shape than this one, um, so yeah, go figure, right, um, but the others, even this one, I got them all around, you know, $15, you know, they're like VGs and VG Pluses, but still, $15 for the first appearance of Hercules, that's insane, so I feel like I got some awesome deals on that. So, um, not a local comic shop, but um, I did get this Luke Cage Hero for Hire number one, first appearance of Luke Cage. Super happy to get this. Got this for seventy three dollars. This book right now, and this grade, this is about a um, four point five, maybe a five zero. Even in this grade, I've seen going under over over a hundred dollars, and I got it for um, less than that. 73. I got this at a home uh, comic book comic book depot in Long Island. I want to thank them because they were really awesome um, for giving me a deal. Gave me 15% off. Uh, so it's really cool. This is issue number two. Oh, this is also a John Romita Sr. cover. As well as number two. This is number two. I love this cover. Him busting through the wall. It's also a John Romita Sr. cover. Um, issue number two. Um, I got this off eBay. It's about a 7.0, maybe 6.5. I'm really happy about it. I think I got this, you know, you know him being on the Jessica Jones, and now in September he's going to have his own show. Um, the first two books are, you know, are, are, you know, not just number one being expensive, but number two as well. Also, the nurse, played by Rosario Dawson in um, Daredevil, um, I think her name is Claire Templeton or something like that. This is her first appearance, um, which I thought was surprising. So this book is, is you know, pretty hot, too. And you know, John Romita Sr., you can't go wrong. Another John Romita Sr. Um, cover. This has got to be like a 9-4. I think I got this for 15 or 18 bucks. I might have got this for 15 bucks off of eBay. This is easily like a 9.4. Even, um, you know, that's not even a, a spine roll. That's just like the way it was cut. But 
there's like nothing wrong with this book. And all these, you know, Daredevil, Spider-Man, uh, The Thing, um, one of my favorites, Shang- Shang-Chi, um, Master of Kung Fu is on this. I mean, just wonderful. A gorgeous John Romita Sr. Um, cover. This is Man Thing number one. This is um, from this. This is volume number two, um, issue number one from 1979. So check this out. I got this at a local comic shop called um, uh, Saint Mark's Comics in Manhattan. They had these on a um, you know one of the racks there. Had, had a whole bunch of them. I I should have bought them all because he was selling them for a penny. I got this for one cent, and there's like really almost nothing wrong. This is like a nine two. Um, almost nothing wrong with this book, and I got it for a penny. And if I know what I knew now, I would have bought them all for. I mean, he had like fifteen of them. I've seen these go on, you know, on eBay for you know anywhere from ten between ten and fifteen dollars. Um, and low low grade ones, I've seen them go under ten. Uh, you know, like five, but for a penny, I was super stoked. You know, so thank you, St. Mark's Comics. Um. Some of their books they're a little overpriced in my opinion, especially their Spider Man books, but you know, I just go there once in a while. But the, he has some nice stuff there. Um but yeah, I was happy to get this from him. Really awesome. Last but not least, this is Marvel Age number one eleven. This um is a John Romita cover and the whole book is you know, dedicated to John Romita. So that's John Romita right there and he's a all the women he drew, uh, or you know, or created, um, he created the look for um, Mary Jane Watson. Um, she, you know, you first mention her name in issue twenty five, but they don't show her until like, you know, issue forty two. And um, yeah, so you got some great stuff here: Black Widow, Gwen Stacy, Medusa. I mean, just really great stuff. Aunt May. So, yeah. I'm going to end it right here. I'm going to bring back um, my man, Luke Cage. So, I want to thank you, YouTube. Um, get another close up. Boom. Thank you, YouTube. Thank you, comic book community. Um, and uh, please leave some positive comments and some likes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, this is... Uh, Comic Hero 77, sign it out.